Sam says, does anyone know how to automatically empty a SharePoint recycle bin every two weeks? I have asked this before and contacted Microsoft with no help. But well, why? why? <laughs> okay, if we I move have past questions. the why question, <laughs> I did include a link to, um, I think it's um, one of the SharePoint SharePoint Stack Exchange. Uh, they talk about automatically clearing uh, recycle bin. And there's also an answer, depending on whether you're on premises or in the cloud, but it's going to come down to probably some PowerShell. Um, and that's about it. I mean, and then the, we'll go on to the why now. <laughs> well, the, what, what, so what is this? What's the standard? What's the out of the box function? Is it 30 days? 30 days? Well, no, or size, oh, no. because if somebody dumps yes. a whole if you, bunch of documents, true. it's going to push everything else out. So my concern is they're getting dependent on this two weeks thing, thinking it's going to be there for two weeks, and it may mm. not. If somebody, you know, offloads and gets rid of all that rot we were just talking about. That's old. a good point. And you've yeah. got a second stage. You've got a bit of a second stage recycle. Mm -hmm. What's your retention policies around information as well in terms of keeping keeping things? I see. I mean, we've had how many questions have we had in this group or across the many recordings around, I can't find that file or it's been deleted or how far back can I go or, at, you know, at least so many. And two like so more. many, minimum, minimum. And often many we don't even... Two. Right. Often we don't even go back and answer them again and again because there's so many that come up online. You know, it's like, guys, be careful. What, you know, the question really has to be asked why and what's your governance policy around this? And, you know, is it just purely because of storage space? Sometimes, you know, that can be a thing. We've got too much stuff sitting in recycle. It's costing us. Mm -hmm. um, but at what at what cost? Or to the business in the long run because you've deleted something or someone's accidentally deleted something and within a fortnight people haven't realized so just a and, question too the, the second stage um uh, uh recycle are you um penalized for that storage if you if it's in recycle bin it, it's still technically on your system that's still part of storage when you purge that and it goes to the second stage and you have what is it 30 days in that not, second or 90. size. I think it's 90. Yeah. Or size. 90. I think it's 90. Or size. Is it 90? Or 90. size? Or I think size. it's 90 or by default. Or so size, if, it's, yeah. if it's file size, it's gone and it's gone. No. Right? Sean says. Wait just a second. Okay. Yeah. This is going to depend if they're on-prem or in the cloud. On-prem, it's driven okay. strictly yep. by quotas. And you establish a quota and, you know, where you want to start getting warned. SharePoint Online, you don't have that level of control. So it really does matter where we're talking about here. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I forgot We're, about that, Sean. You just gave me a little flashback from working on. Oh, I'm the PTSD sorry. is I'm setting in. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, this is a real one frame in a while. Yeah. Well, it, it, yeah. I mean, that's that's the thing. We were we were talking about this in, like a week ago. We we're talking. It's like I'm 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 forgetting so much about the on-prem time, the era. Mm -hmm. Like I I think it was like 2016 where I fully made the switch i said i just I, I need to focus in one space i'm going to focus on the cloud where things are going um i realized that not to disparage people that still on prem there are still very real uh you know scenarios for having uh on-prem hybrid environments things that are out there and it's actually been growing a bit again um with with hybrid for a number of okay. different reasons um i but, was working yeah. with a client last week this still has a 2007 on-prem environment. Okay, there's so, no sorry, excuse for, for that, that, though. That's not yeah. okay. Just no, not that's okay. not healthy. They're moving that's out. They're moving out, but yeah. yeah. The, so the other yeah. part to this question, too, that's, it, it just has to be said. And the reason I want to start with why is because why are you trying to do that? But like has been mentioned, what are you doing to impact the business? Do you have a separate backup tool in place? Because if you do, 
then, I mean, get rid of your stuff as, as fast as you want it. It doesn't really matter if you have a tool that you can then go back and do granular recovery whenever you need to. Um, you're, you know, then, yeah, I'll let it go because, uh, yeah, if it's sitting in the recycle bin, it is counting against your storage quota and it is something to be concerned about. And the faster you get rid of it, the cleaner everything is, then, you know, you don't have to worry about it. But I would definitely say make sure that you have a backup tool in place, um, regardless of what you want to do with this, because, at the end of the day, I'm just going to say it out loud. Microsoft is not a good backup plan. Backups for losers. Yeah. <laughs> well, Live on part. the edge, people. Embrace life. It's That's the flavor of life. <laughs> <laughs> One of the I've questions worked we had. I've worked with some government agencies, and they want it gone because they don't want it to be discoverable Correct. for whatever reason. They want it gone. But that's yeah. part of their process. Yeah. It's part of the framework. They've, it's documented. I mean, that's like a known thing. And there's steps like you know, it taken. Usually, like you can't delete things. Um, yeah, it has to be done more at the admin level. I mean, so there's ways that you can lock that down and protect from that. But even then, I mean, there's still depending on the type of content, what it is, it's likely archived. Uh, you know, and they've they've got it. You know, somewhere. So. Yeah, this is very much a about, it, it depends scenario. I always wonder about clients that are want to get rid of everything. It's, uh, it's the same thing I philosophy I tell my children. If if you don't want the whole world to know you're doing it, you probably shouldn't be doing it. You know, yeah. Um, yeah. same thing in business. If if they're that worried about it being found, then what are you doing that you're worried about it being found? That's right. That's, That's what shadow IT is for, right, Sherry? Shadow IT. Shadow That's why we embrace all that. <laughs> Well, a I mean, server so under had, my desk. We had a question just recently around, you know, a whole heap of things that we actually need to go back and get accidentally deleted for tax or legal purposes because we've had those questions too. You know, what have you got in terms of classifications around your documents to ensure these things aren't actually then accidentally deleted? That if you're wanting to turn it to every two weeks, you're going to need some fairly strict other processes in place to ensure yep. that you are retaining the information you need to retain so that you can delete the things you need to delete. So be really careful on that process and have something it might take a, you know, might take a lot longer for you to get to the point where you go, I'm deleting it after two weeks because you need to put in a lot of other processes. So it's, you know, yep. DLP, whatever the case may be um, around this first. So if do due diligence. Policy. That framework. Yeah. I mean, it, look, it's a it's a viable thing. It's like if you had an archiving solution, uh, you've got your classification, uh, you know, system, your labeling system, like set up for that. You can reduce cost depending on the volume and the content and the size of the organization by purging the system more quickly. But you still have a path when needed to go and reach those archived offsite different exactly. platform data points. So. Yeah, it, again, go go in knowing that that's the case. It's uh, I see the the other route this could go is that they delete something that should have been deleted and then they go the opposite direction, like let's retain everything forever. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, that, that's, that's, that's uh, the other side to that, right? Is, you know, it's kind of like the people, I literally talked to somebody the other day, I didn't believe that people still do this, but I talked to somebody the other day who stores their stuff in the deleted folder in Outlook. And mine, I like, mine automatically empties every time I close Outlook. So I couldn't even imagine like storing stuff in there. And I think people still do that. And I've had people say to me the same thing. Can I keep my recycle bin forever? And I'm once again, why? Why, why, why yeah. would you do this? Yeah. You deleted it for a reason. It's like you have the overflowing trash can under your desk. Dump it. Well, well, see, I use my like I use my download folder that way with temporary things. I can lose everything in that folder and not worry about it. If it's important, I move it out. But for all the day to day, move things, you know, quickly mm -hmm. pull things down, need to use it one time, go Same. in there and do that. And then on a regular basis, I go in and just empty the whole thing and and start mm -hmm. and start again. But I would never do that in my recycle folder because I I recycle when I want to recycle. Yeah. So back to the how, Sean mentioned maybe a PowerShell script. There is PowerShell to empty this SharePoint Online recycle bin, and you can use Power Automate to run said PowerShell at whatever frequency your heart so desires. Yeah. So Power <laughs> Automate for the win. <laughs> There's a Power lot of automate for total pool. destruction. 
So I think far, everyone, that's MVP. <laughs> every one of the governance tools, the major governance tool providers provide that ability to go in and, and create that automation as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's a fairly common thing to go and do.